On the phone with me right now from Washington DC, America's capital, is IBF light welterweight champion Lamont Peterson. Hello Lamont. Hey, how you doing? Not too bad. Yourself? I'm doing good. Just getting ready for this fight. February 22nd. Yeah, this, uh, first of all, tell us a little bit about your next fight. This is with Kendall Holt. Tell us a little bit about yeah, your opponent. Um, well, he, you know, he's you know former world champion. Mm. And, uh, you know, he can fight. So I'm looking forward to a, you know, a good, uh, hard fight. And uh, I've been just preparing for that. And uh, But everything's been going good. All right, so your record is 31-1. and one. That's a 15 knockouts as well for you. That's a 47% knockout ratio. One which many would consider successful. So what I want to ask you is, what inspired you to become the boxer you are today? Uh, I don't know. It's just something that I always wanted to do. You know, ever since I was four or five years old, and, uh, just watching uh, Pernell Whitaker and Evander Holyfield one night fight on TV. And... Um, it was, you know, that the switch went on in my head from that point on. Just, you know, just something I wanted to do. And and what about Barry Hunter? Uh, in your childhood, uh, he he noticed you, didn't he? Oh yeah, uh, I met Barry when I was ten, and um, you know, he he really, you know, the one that taught me how, you know, to box, and you know, while teaching me how to box, he, you know, he was just teaching me how to live my life uh, the right way. Okay, so. You had an awesome amateur record as well. So you had this Golden Glass lightweight title in 2001, and you were U.S. champion in 2003. When did you make the decision to go professional, and why? Um, I first was going to go professionally when I, I think I was just turned 18 or I was 17, and I had just won the uh, Golden Gloves and start offers start coming in, but I really wanted to, you know, fight on the Olympic team, so I was going to stay. To 2004 and, and hopefully get on the team, but uh, yeah, I lost in the Olympic trials and uh, in the box club. So you know, at that point, I knew it was time to turn pro. I was 20 years old. Uh, there was really nothing left uh, for me to do in the amateurs, but wait around and, and try to go to the Olympics again, which I would have been 24 years old. To me, it was just you know too old. So I just you know I decided to turn pro and. How did you pick yourself up? I mean, you went two and was it twenty six, twenty seven fights undefeated? Yeah, yeah, and obviously yeah, it, was, it was a good start. You know, uh, starting off, you know, you know, with twenty six wins in a row. You know, we, we was on the road. You know, but then you get to championship level and you realize that you know things are things not are tough. Not yeah. easy. Absolutely. So, uh -huh. I mean, these these fights. Bradley, Tim Bradley and Victor Ortiz, why don't you tell us a little bit about those fights? How significant were those to your career? Uh, well, both of those fights were the uh, most important fights and, and at the time in my career. Um, you know, fight Tim Bradley, that was the first title, you know, fight I, I was in. I learned a lot from that fight, you know, inside and outside of the ring. So, to me, that's still the most Important fight to me, to fight that I would uh, I would love to rematch him, you know, someday in the future. But you know, I learned a lot from that fight, um, just on how to prepare myself for a championship fight and how to go out and um, handle myself, you know, on that level. And, yeah, and uh, yeah. the Victor Ortiz fight, it was a difficult fight starting off, but you can see that uh, the progression from you know. The, the the things that I learned in the Bradley fight helped me in the uh, Victor Ortiz fight. And then, uh, the you know, after the Victor Ortiz fight, you know, what I learned from that fight helped me, yeah. in the, you know, in, the, in my next two fights. And, and, you, and the next two fights were very significant. Your world title victory over Amir Khan. Now, how significant was that to you? What did it mean to you? Well, it, it, it just it meant a lot to me. Um... Uh, just, you know, fighting for 17 years at the time, you know, all that hard work and time and dedication put into, you know, this boxing game. And, you know, I just felt so that night it, it finally paid off. All right. Amir Khan in the UK has got a large following. 
What would you say to the UK fans about the cancelled fight last year? How much of an impact did it make on you? And do you think it could happen in the future? I think the fight will happen in the future. I'm almost sure of it. Um, I would like to apologize for the delay, but it'll happen. It will happen. Okay. Uh, and since then, you've signed with Golden Boy. What does that mean for you? Well, it's a big step, you know, in my career. Um, just give me the insurance that, you know, as long as I take care of my business in the ring, I know I'll be in big fights um, in in the future. And hopefully, you know, one of those big fights I would be a big And now that you're world champion, what sort of future aspirations do you have? And what sort of message would you give to the fighters in your division right now? I'm talking to Danny Garcia's, Juan Manuel Marquez's. What sort of message would you be sending out to them? Uh, I don't really think I need to send a message to them. They know I'm here. They know I'm holding the IBF title. And mm -hmm. uh, they know if, if that's the title that they want, they're going to have to fight. Well, they're going to have to fight, aren't they? Uh, and you haven't fought for over a year now. This is this is one thing uh, I'm sure you've you've been asked a lot. You haven't fought for over a year, 14 months. And last time you had a fight was December 2001. Uh, sorry, 2011. Um, and your next fight's against Kendall Holt, who, make no mistake about it, is a very experienced fighter. And do you feel 100% ready to get back in the ring? And why now? Yeah, I feel 100% to get back in the ring. And I look at it like this, you know, fighters are fighters. It can be ten years old. You know, if you know how to fight, you know how to fight. Um, would there be ring rust? Maybe. Who who knows? I've been in the gym for the whole fourteen months, sparring, training, everything. So I, f I feel pretty good. Who knows what's gonna happen that night? But I'm not worried about it. Whatever happens, will happen. And uh, regardless of what, I still believe I wouldn't fight. All right, and your next fight, obviously, is with a very hungry fighter. What sort of fight are you expecting from Kendall Holt? And this guy's 28 and 5, uh, and a couple, uh, you know, he has lasted 12 rounds with Tim Bradley, so he, he's a very tough competitor. What sort of fight are you expecting from him? Is he going to bring it, or is he going to sit back, or what? What do you think? Um, I'll be ready for whatever, you know, he brings to the table. You know, if he lay back, I know what to do, and if he, if he, decide to put pressure on me, then I know what to do. I'm just, you know, preparing myself for any type of fight that he that he can bring me. I know it'll be a tough fight. Um, you know, he's a you know, former world champion and he, and he wanted to be champion again and he's not gonna go down easy. Alright, and this fight on twenty second of February, Friday fight nights, Washington D C this is your hometown. What sort of crowd are you expecting there? What how much how much of a part do you think these this crowd's gonna play? Uh, I think it'll play in my favor, of course. You know, just stepping out there and seeing the familiar faces of friends and family. It always help you, you know, and make you want to win that much more. Um, you know, and when you get tired, they're, they're always there to, you know, give you that extra burst yeah. to, to help you finish the fight or, you know, if you need to dig down and get that last round, you know, they'll be there for me. You know, so, of course, the crowd going to play in my favor, and, I, and I'll feed off. Okay. Let, let me ask a little bit about when, when you grew up watching boxing. Who were maybe your inspirations? Uh, starting off, it was Pernell Whitaker and uh, Evander Holyfield. And then, you know, when they start. Uh, getting older, and, you know, and was leaving out the game. Then it was like Roy Jones and Sugar Shane Mosley, and you know, then I really start going back, watching older film, and you know, Julio Cesar Chavez and Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, were two of my favorites from you know back there. Then you know, I really start getting deep into boxing, and you know, Sugar Ray Robinson probably my favorite fighter. Okay, did they, did they sort of affect you? Affect you? Uh, did you sort of learn to emulate them? Uh, anytime you watch um, tons of footage on a person, regardless if you want to or not, you're going to take something from them and emulate them. Just, you know, just a little bit. I don't want, you know, take anyone's style or, or try to copy someone's style. So, you know, I'll just try, you know, I just steal a move here and there and, and leave it at that. All right, just deviating a little. 
I know you're a big fan of football. When I say football, I mean American football. When you say football in the okay. UK, people think it's soccer. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. So, tell us a little bit about the team you support. I think Washington Redskins. Uh, yeah, I support the Redskins, of course. You know, that's my home. Yeah. Uh, That's my hometown, and 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 um, you know it was, you know it was a lot of ups and downs this season. You know everybody was, uh, you know psyched about RG three. Then he he gets hurt. And then everybody was down. He come back. Everybody yeah, was hyped yeah. again, and then then he's out for a long time. So everybody's down right now. And hopefully, you know February twenty second, I can you know bring some light back to the city with a big victory. Tell me something as well. In terms of an athlete's point of view, this this RG three injury, it's massive. Now, is when he returns, is he going to be the same sort of football player? Is he going to be the same when he comes back? Obviously, as an athlete, you you know this kind of thing. Uh, I hope so. And uh, the way these doctors, you know, the work that they do these days are amazing. So, yeah, I expect them to be, you know, a hundred percent. You know, when he come back, I just hope he don't try to rush and come back. Because that's when, you know, the problems, you know, occur, you know, and then you think you're ready. You're not telling everybody that you're not ready. And, then, you know, same thing that happened last time. Mm. You know, just because you don't want to take out one game, then you end up being out for a whole season. So I hope, hopefully he take all the time that he need. And when he comes back, he's 100%. I, I believe he can do it. All right. Sunday, 3rd of February, Super Bowl. We've got the San Francisco 49ers versus the Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore Ravens, obviously, they've got Ray Lewis. It's going to be his final game. The San Francisco 49ers, uh, I think th they're a very popular team down here in the UK. Who do you think is going to win this Super Bowl? To be honest, I, I, I can't pick one. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to go with the Ravens because they're, they're close to home. They're only 40 minutes away. So I'll be pulling for them. And, you know, Ray Lewis last game so i'll be pulling for him but i really don't know who's gonna win again it's a, that's that's a fair uh, fair analysis there now if we go back to boxing in the uk would you come and have a fight in the uk w would you come here yeah i would love to fight in the uk yeah um now every time you know I, i've been over there and uh, you know even though you don't like twitter you know they, people show me a lot of love so and I know it's, you know, it's, boxing is big over in the U.K. That's so I would love yeah. to, you know, go over there and fight. Is there, is, there any, uh, is, the young, is there any young British boxers that have caught your eye recently? Uh, I watched the Olympics and you know, the crew that, 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 uh, that y'all had out there, were, they were pretty good fighters. And uh, Kel Brooks, you know, I, I watched him fight a few times. I liked the way he fight. I expect him, you know, to eventually be a world champion. Okay. Finally, Lamont, many of our listeners uh, may have hopes to become top athletes in the future. We have a lot of kids following this who want to be boxers in the future. What sort of advice would you give to them to maximize their chances of becoming successful? Um, if you get into the boxing game, it, it requires more than just your time. It requires a lot, you know, out of you. If you're not willing to give it your all, then I suggest not do it. But if you decide to do it, just give it your all. You know, it's a it's a really rough sport, but it's a it's a really good sport. It's a sport of you know a lot of times ups ups and downs, but for the most part, you just follow your heart. You know, it's it's a sport that you have to love. You can't just like the box or. Yeah. want to box because my friend boxed so I saw it on TV it have to be something that you love alright okay it's 22nd of February Friday fight nights Washington DC what are we going to see if we if we tune in Friday fight nights what are we going to expect your fight against Kendall uh, Holt expect a great fight of course at the end of the day you know I'll be victorious whether it's a decision to knock out or however it goes I just know that, you know, I'll come out with the right game plan. Me and my team will come out with the right game plan and we'll win the fight. But I expect a, a good fight, a good crowd, uh, a exciting night for, you know, for my boxing team, headbangers, and for D.C. All right. Lamont, I want to thank you for speaking to us. Really appreciate having a world champion talking to us on the Sports Lounge in 93.5 Unity FM. No problem.
and good luck in your fight no against Cameron. No problem at all. It's been a pleasure right, talking thanks, to you, man. Thanks a lot. No problem. Mm -hmm.